Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Tech. I am Piyush. Today I came with another uh, very interesting and important video as a structure engineer or for uh, civil engineering domain. Uh, this is nothing but PDL analysis, and uh, I am going to discuss about uh, also how we can uh, define PDL analysis in ETFs. So first of all, uh, what is PDL and uh, when the PDL analysis is required? So P delta analysis is required if the st structure subjected by vertical load as well as lateral force also. F lateral force like earthquake or wind etc. Now to understand P delta effect and P delta analysis you need to familiar with few terms like uh, first order analysis, second order analysis and uh, material nonlinearity. Uh, ge uh, ge uh, geometric nonlinearity etc. While I discuss in my previous video uh, about linear and nonlinear, that time I discuss about material nonlinearity and geometric nonlinearity. If you are interested to know about this, go through my uh, previous video, you can see. So, here to discuss the first order analysis and second order analysis, I am uh, I consider few uh, <coughs> three figures here. Figure number one, this is figure number one, figure two, and figure three. Now, before discussing that uh, second order and first order analysis, I am uh, if you go through some literature you can see uh, there is uh, two delta two p delta one is p small delta one is p big delta p small delta is nothing but the uh, displacement about uh, local displacement like uh, column buckling local buckling and all but uh, we are uh, very much concentrated on p big delta is it is uh, it is showing the overall um, structural displacement so we are very much concentrated on uh, P big delta. So today also I am going to discuss about P big delta only. Okay. So if I consider my first figure, C, <coughs> what I consider here, I consider one high rise building. Suppose this is my high rise building and height of this building is height H. Already I mentioned here H. And I also consider uh, on the top of the building there is on one vertical force P so if I say what is the reaction at the base uh, for, for uh, vertical force P the reaction is nothing but P only towards upward direction okay so then in second figure if you see here I consider one uh, lateral force Q at the top of the building only and also my vertical force P is present okay so my question was what is first order analysis and what is second order analysis first order analysis is, is nothing but uh, linear analysis and second order analysis is nothing but non-linear analysis okay so first order second order is uh, what second order is non-linear analysis And first order is linear analysis. So here we can um, here after um, my explanation you can understand um, what is linear analysis here and what is nonlinear analysis and why p delta comes in nonlinear analysis only. Okay, and the result of p delta and the result of p delta you will not get by linear analysis. Okay, so if I consider my second figure, <coughs> what is the reaction at the base? If I say what is the reaction at the base, the reaction at the base is nothing but P towards vertical direction and also there is one lateral force Q. That lateral force you can consider this is earthquake or wind anything. But for our simplicity, we are taking Q is my lateral force 
and uh, what is the base reaction for this lateral force the reverse reaction is nothing but m into q suppose i am considering m equals to m1 resisting moment m equals to m1 and m1 is nothing but q into h okay so up to this much if up to this much is linear analysis result you just go uh, do one trial and you will get this result moment and force now the question is now we will going to going to start our non linear analysis this is iterative method uh, trial you have to do the number of trials to get the results so that is why usually when we are go for analyze the multi story or high rise building we are use we are considering the p delta effect okay because the effect of lateral force we are we, it is very significant for uh, high rise building uh, for low rise building of course suppose like 10 story uh, sorry uh, 10 meter 15 meters building it is uh, you will not get that much of effect for p delta so as a, as a high height of the building is increasing the effect of p delta is also increased okay now But due to this P, uh, lateral force, due to this lateral force Q, there is one deflection, and this deflection I shown in figure number three. Suppose initial position of the top of the building is here. This point I considering as a uh, suppose like A. But now second position of building after act, uh, acting uh, that lateral force the second place position of the building is b so from a to b the displacement is delta okay so for this displacement there is there will be another moment like clockwise direction and what is the um, what is the moment M, suppose I am considering that moment is M2 and that moment is nothing but P into delta okay so now if I ask what is the base reaction uh, what is the base reaction so base reaction is nothing but M equals to M1 plus P into delta that is nothing but suppose I am going to tell uh, this is uh, m2 ok suppose I am saying this is m2 so here total base reaction is for q load for q load m1 m1 is nothing but q into h for lateral force and another moment uh, adding here due to this load p okay so that is nothing but p into delta okay suppose this is my second trial if you go through another trial you will get another displacement suppose this is my delta 1 suppose this is my delta 1 another displacement will be delta 2 maybe each trial the delta value will be uh, decreasing but uh, after some trials you will get um, the negligible displacement but you have to do that number of trials to get the actual results so that is why that uh, effect of p delta comes under non-linear analysis okay so this is all about P delta analysis. Now I am going to explain how we can define the P delta effect in uh, ETF software. Suppose you are if you are going to dis uh, analyze any structure using ETF software, then how you are you can define that P delta? Suppose 
as uh, yes, uh, yes, now here as per uh, is 16700 2017 i am going to explain uh, this is a tall structure building code this is nothing but tall structure building code 16700 2017 so there is a new amendment at 2017 so uh, here according to that code the load coefficient is 1.2 for dead load 0.5 for live load and 1 point plus minus 1.5 for lateral load and wind load to take in this factor we have to define in e tabs okay for uh, defining e tabs for you in e tabs you have to go define and here uh, you can see one option is there define p delta and if you click on p delta this window you can see okay this window in this window there is a three uh, option there is a none another is a non iterative and another is an iterative okay you have to consider iterative iterative method only because if you consider non iterative method that time the software will take uh, the mass from each floor okay directly it will take the mass of from each floor but we are giving different types of load we are assigning on each floor and also we are uh, creating some load cases static load case and all so from that if you uh, consider the iterative that uh, then the uh, software automatically consider uh, load from this uh, load cases okay so you will get the proper result so always you um, do uh, you uh, select iterative method only okay now after that what you will do you one by one uh, load you have to add here okay uh, what are the loads suppose uh, already they mentioned dead load dead load under sid and all you have to add here and you have to give the factors now the thing is here i could mention 1.2 for dead load or 0.5 for in live load and 1.5 for earthquake load the thing is if you consider 1.5 for earthquake load or wind load you will see the drastic change in the uh, output I mean results so usually if i honestly say in industry uh, industry they are not considering 1.5 most of the um, cases i have seen that uh, people are not considering 1.5 because the results the rain percentage of reinforcement parts is coming very high very high and uh, maybe it is an economical or i don't know but industry is not considering 1.5 so what they are using there maybe sometime they are considering 1.2 dead load and 0.6 live load and all so for uh, explaining purpose i am saying that 1.5 or 3 coin and load you can consider so you can check you can check with consider this one but industry they are neglecting they are neglecting this is they are not considering this 1.5 or 3 can one load okay so like that you can add 1.2 but dead for dead load 1.2 and sometime you can consider 0.6 for uh, live load and 0.5 for live load as per means as per code you have to consider 0.5 only so you consider 0.5 for uh, live load so then okay so it will the if you click okay then automatically stuck when uh, stuck you put for anal run analysis that time structure automatically uh, take the p delta effects okay uh, i hope uh, from this video you can uh, get a little bit idea about p delta analysis and uh, how we can define p delta effects in e tabs so next time i'll come with another uh, very interesting video so please uh, subscribe my channel if you are very much interested to know, um, to know about structure engineering to know about uh, how industries work um, uh, means how industry is work about uh means uh, practical work as in structure uh, as a structure engineer so please subscribe my channel i'll come with another many more interesting video thank you so much